Chapter four, season four is amazing, but Epic might have made a little bit of a mistake because I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to get the vault loot, all the mythics and get back to back easy wins. So the first thing we did was we looted the uh, the bag on that island and these bags are going to be how we're going to get inside and get the job done. We're going to loot this bag now and we got remote explosives because what it's going to give us is it's going to give us the ability here. Drop the C4 and open this up. It's the only way to open this up without a key right here or the ram. Is a C4 or the ram to open that wall. Once we have this wall open, we're able to walk in. We're going to go through here. And these, these change when they're flashing. So once they're done flashing, you can go in. I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to farm this. Open this. Grab some more loot. Kill this guy. Little bait and switch right there. The Havoc Suppress AR is still trash as always, so don't bother using that. Now that we're in here, though, we're going to grab the Science Pistol, and the Science Pistol is actually going to be really useful for this. I see a guy over there. I'm going to just... Oh, he just died. Okay. Some more, more loot for me. I believe the boss has already been killed. That guy killed the boss for us. So what we can do here, by the way, very quickly, set this up in the middle. Run. Cone that so that it can't hit us. Oh, well, actually, that one's going to hit us. Put a wall here, grab the key cards, cone that one. We're gonna grab shockwaves. We're gonna grab this mythic SMG. This is the this is the SMG to use this season in my opinion, and I'll show you why. Now, the thing about this vault is it's probably the best vault to go to. There's three different POIs, but this POI is the best one. Because first of all, it drops the mythic SMG, which the other POIs drop a mythic DMR and a mythic uh, Havoc AR, so they're both useless. But what I like about this vault is it's very easy to walk in and start building uh, tarps like this to prevent people from sneaking up on you. So that's going to be pretty useful. Another thing is this uh, drop actually has three different mythics, while the other spots only have two. Now, the first thing people do is they rush here and they try to grab the mythic. You don't want to do that. You want to loot up because once you grab it, there's all these NPCs that start running at you. We're gonna actually going to loot up get everything we need before we grab and i'm going to show you the fastest way to get the hell out of here because you're going to want to get out of here after you uh, open the vault and actually this is going to help having this hammer is going to help us get out so of all these items we're actually this is the most useless one do not grab the zig and choppy ray gun second most useless is the gunner singer smg i think there's just better smgs it's not bad but it's 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 not great we're going to grab the foundations mythic m7 and as you can see, as soon as we do that, all hell breaks loose. There's a lot of chaos. Now, fortunately, we have a hammer and we have shockwaves. So we're going to break on through and we're going to angle this hammer right here. Like we're going to angle it like this. Break that and we're going to fly right on out. Cover our back, cover our front. Now we're going through this. We need to be careful not to trigger it or else you're going to get trapped in a little uh, box. So we're going right on out. Perfect. We'll do first shotgun. Shotgun uh, deals increased damage on first shot. It doesn't increase uh, max headshot damage though. So just keep that in mind. It's going to give you higher body shot damage. And it's only on the first shot of the shotgun before you reload. Now we're going to move on over to the second part of the video. And this is where things get really, really broken. Let's reroll right here. Let's do first assault for some extra damage with the MK. Let's grab that and and between the infiltrator shotgun and the sharp tooth i think the sharp tooth is the one uh for me I, I i like the sharp tooth more than the infiltrator the only other shotgun i would recommend potentially using over the sharp tooth is the kits charge shotgun because it can hit for 200 plus headshot we're gonna hire sun strider she's here every single game which is gonna give us some splashes which is great as this first circle is closing we're going to go to this satellite right here. And this spawns in every single game. And this is where things are extremely OP, especially if, whether you're playing solos, duos, trios, squads, it doesn't matter. This is this is how you're going to have an advantage over all the other teams. So there's a guy already here, which is hilarious. So I'm actually going to let him do the dirty work. As soon as he starts shooting the boss, I'm going to use this mythic MK7 and just absolutely devour him. Going to kill the boss with the MK7. These guys are very quick and easy to kill. They don't have a lot of health. And now here's what the boss does. The boss actually drops slurps and a key card, 
We're going to grab the key card. Grab the slurps in case anybody pushes us. And we're going to go and activate this key card on the satellite. And this is a storm satellite. It's now going to show us the next circles for the rest of the game. And by the way, guys, real quick, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to use the rocket ram. The rocket ram, I believe, is really, really good. It's just in solos, I actually prefer to use shockwaves because it's a little bit quicker. And I feel like in solos, it's easier to get focused while you're in the sky. Now, here's another thing. There's another satellite over here and someone already killed the boss and there's the key on the ground. And he's going to probably head over to use that satellite. But we're still going to head over there because I think it's... Here's, here's, here's the way I see it. Right now in this game, nobody has slurps unless they kill the boss. There's still another boss over there for a satellite. And then there's me and then there's that guy. And now I'm going to have an advantage over almost anybody I run into because they're not going to have slurps. And you guys know how powerful slurps are. Um, but they're not going to have it. Now, this guy, on the other hand, does have slurps. So, in my opinion, it'd be very beneficial for me to come here and try to take him out quickly uh, before he, you know, gets stronger and gets better loot. Because I already feel like I have better loot than this guy. This guy did hit me for 100, which is a little unfortunate. But I'm going to get above him. He's going to use that. And he's dead. Now, I did have to use a slurp there, but that's okay. I'm still going to be heading in this direction. There he is. There he is. This guy has the slurps. I believe. There's a good chance that he has it. There's a really good chance that he has it. He does have the slurps. There, there, there they are. So... Now we know where the slurps are. And there's an extra one here. He even has some uh, exotic uh, splashes, which is amazing. And and by the way, the boss always drops a gold AR. So that's really good if, you, if you're playing with your duo and they don't have a good assault rifle. When you kill the boss, he always drops a legendary assault rifle. And then I'm also going to go for this. On the go bag is probably my favorite uh, new augment. It gives you mobility items, but it's also uh, every time you open a chest, there's a chance to get slap juice or shockwaves and i think it's really important that you keep your shockwaves topped off when you're playing now the second thing that we're going to do is there is the loot cache right the loot cache is going to spawn in now if you somehow miss getting the satellite you don't have slurps you definitely want to go for the loot cache slurps are king slurps are very very important the only other like really really good healing item besides the exotic slap splashes is probably the endless chug jug which is back you can get it from the vaults which gives you a uh, infinite chug jug that refills every 60 seconds going to keep moving and we're going to try to find where the island is because i'm going to go for the mythic shotgun that spawns on the island i want to show you guys uh the mythic shotgun and if it's worth using over the saber tooth um even at mythic rarity we'll go here we'll grab a bounty it's going to help us understand who's around us but yeah there's only 12 people left hold up let me just remove this person no actually actually that's my cousin i think <laughs> family family is important okay so here's the, here's the dealio the mythic mk7 assault rifle strongest ar in the game besides the besides the uh overclocked pulse rifle so we're gonna use this bad boy effortlessly here there we go it's also very good with hip fire now that the island is spawning in we're gonna prioritize the island Increase the amount of slurps that we have available to us. We also want to reduce the amount of slurps that the other people have. Because slurps are going to be your biggest issue when you're running into people. You kind of fry them. You box them up. They get away. They pop some slurps. It's, it's very frustrating. So we're going to use two shockwaves here. I believe someone is shooting us. But I'm going to chill right now. Give them a little... Give them a little, little, little splash and dash with that. Mythic MK, so much damage, so much accuracy. Absolutely love it. Now, I'm down to three Shockwaves, so I'm not going to use any more. I want to save these for actually getting in. But if I'm lucky, I actually might be able to get a Shockwave. I don't think it comes from chests, right? So this time it gave me Slap Juice instead. I don't think it works on these. No, I think it might actually. But here we go. I can hear the flag going right now. So we're going we're gonna to try to just find our... Uh, to find the rifts. There's a rift. We're going to go here and go on top of the island. And I'm going to show you a cool strategy to, like, take control of the uh, the loot 
on this. So we're going to come up here, okay? Going to break this. That's okay. He, he... Dude is dead. Looks like he has the charge. Okay, for the sake of the video, we're going to grab the charge. We're going to grab the char charge for the sake of the video because that's going to give us a ton to work with. Now we got some people pulling up. So let me think. In this situation, I got an aggressive guy with a drum gun who's trying to get in. I don't want him to get in. I actually don't mind if he... There we go. We got a mantle. He doesn't like hearing this. One fifty nine, double slap this, and go right on in. Now the MK can't actually bleed through builds, by the way. So he popped a slurp, unfortunately, which is really, really frustrating because we we're gonna shockwave down on this guy. He's gonna use the hammer actually right now. I, I can hear him winding it up, but I'm fine with that. You just got to be careful not to let the hammer uh, make you fall to your death, but I'm fine with that. We'll pop the slurp. Right. It's about to be a, it's about to be like a two tick or a five tick. So I'm just going to get out. Dude, dude is like a little, like, honestly, I felt like I was beating him up the whole time, but dude was just trying to get bailed out with the uh, drum. So it's not about that. There's an NPC nearby too, which means there's got to be a player nearby. Hopefully he's not in this bush. We have Mud Warrior so we can heal. The dude is going to fly in. He's going to fly. He's going to cap the flag on a two tick and just try to fly in. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to be ready to, to like fry him out of the sky if I can. There he comes. It looks like I blinked. Oh, I didn't take fall damage there. I don't know how. I'm going to wrap around. I'm going to try to kill this guy instead. Grab some extra mats. Would have been sad if we went out there. That dude with the, the Silver Surfer guy is really, really lame. The way he's playing. Now he has slurps too, which makes him extra lame. I'm definitely going to focus him over everybody else. Is he, is he getting fried? Yeah, I'm just, I'm literally not, I'm not even going to shoot the, the superhero skin. I'm just going to shoot the Silver Surfer. Sometimes you got to know who to focus on, you know? All right, looks like the game wants us to move back. Unfortunately, the slurps save this guy's life again. I'm gonna let the superhero focus on him. We can actually see where the next circle is pulling too. You see that? It looks like the superhero guy just kind of got fried. Fed him more loot. This dude's like, uh, he's like a crown farmer. I've faced him before. So we know circles pulling back here, which is actually fantastic. We can go to the edge right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this. We'll go to the edge right here. We know the circle's pulling back, and we know the circle's pulling even further after this, so. And now we can just wait. There's a guy near us, and then there's the other guy who's just getting bailed out by everybody. He'll fly in the air, and then we'll try to beam him with the Mythic MK. He's driving a car. So frustrating to fight against, bro.
I'm ignoring the guy behind me. I don't even care. I know the circle's pulling this way, so I'm just gonna rush to this ramp. Dude, please tell me these guys are not just dying to this guy instantly. He's gonna fly with a hammer. I'm ignoring the other guy. I'm literally just ignoring the other guy. There we go. Easy pickings. Grab his loot. Charge shotgun. I'm not going to use the hammer. Unless I'm getting shot out. All right, I might use it now. Throws out of mats. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and best of luck in season four.